So here it is, 100,000 subscriber plaque, or also known as silver play button. Thank you all who subscribed and who have been following my channel and supporting my channel and me throughout all of these years. This goes to show that hard work and dedication can accomplish anything. This video is for educational purposes and it does not contain personal information, people's names, passwords, emails, addresses, and everything you see in this content are not real unless stated otherwise. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. In today's video, we're going to talk about a change within Microsoft 365. The reason I came up with this idea for this video is from a viewer. A viewer asked me a question question on how to search for a person based off their job title within Microsoft 365. And there is certainly a way to do it. And you can do it both through Microsoft 365 Admin Center and through what used to be known as your AD. Again, we will talk about and expand on that after I show you how to quickly do this function within Microsoft 365. While logged in into Microsoft 365, select users, select active users, and it will give you a list of all the active users within Microsoft 365. You can also search for users. In this case, we're going to search for Sally Mo, and this happens to be the person that the my viewer was specifically referring to. So if I search for Sally Mo, you can see that you get normal results, but this is not searching based off somebody's title. So if you have thousands of users, yes, it's definitely useful to be able to pull up somebody based off of their title. So why would you want to do that? If you are setting up somebody new or making changes to somebody with a similar role, meaning they are a manager of a certain department, you may want to compare the settings for that person by simply looking up another person with a similar or same title. In this case, we're just searching for Sally Mo based off of her name. And if you select in here, you can see some details for Sally Mo. And within here, you can actually, you cannot, you cannot see the title of this person. All you see is display name and that's it. There is no title display in here. However, you can see it with, by searching for Sally Mo. So you still have Sally Mo in the search box select three dots and select manage contact information. Sure enough, within here, you can see job title, it says manager, even their department. So that's great, but you can also search for the job title specifically. So I'm going to clear the search, select three dots, select on filter, then you're going to add a new filter, you're going to create a new filter because we're going to specifically create a new filter to search for the manager. In this case, we have to name the filter. I'm going to say manager search. So I'm going to scroll down. Here is a job title. Type in manager. You can specify other conditions. In this case, we're just going to leave it as it is. Select add. And here is Sally Mo. She happens to be the only person with manager title that is within here. And you can see that I haven't searched for anything here. All we have is a, an active filter. There's nothing in the search box and our active filter will only display a manager title, a person with a manager title. So it's a great question. Again, if you are trying to use somebody as a template to set them up or make adjustments to somebody else based off of that template, meaning in this case, the template is Sally Mo, or if we want to remove the manager title or some kind of licenses from this person. Now, if you're stuck on this, you definitely want to clear the filter. So that way you can pull up other folks that need adjustment, select the three dots, manage search. Sorry, this thing is finicky and then clear filter. Now we're back to normal and we can see everything else. So I wanted to show, and I knew it was possible to do it through Azure AD. However, if I select show all here to see what else is available when it comes to admin centers available, I don't know why I said it like that, sorry, available. And I was looking for Azure AD within here. So I'm looking for it and I'm like, there is no Azure AD. And my just instinct told me, well, Azure and Active Directory refers to usually of identity of people. In this case, we saw Sally Mo being the manager and her detail. So this is her identity. 
So when I saw here that it says identity, I immediately selected it, opened it up, and sure enough, here is our Azure AD, but now it's called Microsoft Entra Admin Center. So here, <laughs> so they've changed the name and I'm glad that they did because Azure AD is not the same thing as Active Directory that is simply set up for a domain. It's handled differently. It's more on a domain level in the sense that the domain is only affecting for that business. So you can say that it's almost on a local level for that company, right? You can say that it's almost on a local level for that company. And that's kind of confusing to say, but the reason I'm saying that is because everything else that you see in here, everything that I've showed you so far now, including this, everything, this is on a global level, you can say, because everything is on the cloud. Everything is going through the Microsoft. So if your company is using Microsoft 365 and they have this hybrid setup or only using Microsoft 365, this is all on globally. This is all Microsoft controlled and you can access it from anywhere from any computer. So whenever you buy a brand new computer nowadays, the Microsoft, well, assuming it's Windows computer, it will ask you to log in with Microsoft account. Why? Because it's kind of integrated the same way this is, except this is a business side of it, if you will, but it's handled in the same way for people that just buy regular computers. You can use it the same way and use the same login on any computer and you'll have access to everything, all your documents, all your OneDrive, everything else. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. I feel like I've explained it good enough. Now let's see how we can search for a person based of a title within Microsoft Entra. Entra, doesn't Entra mean enter in Spanish? Somebody please let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure Entra means to enter in Spanish. Right, so from here, same difference. Select users, all users. You can search for Sally Mo just to see the information that we get by searching for Sally Mo. Select Sally Mo within the main panel or within the main tab. You don't actually see the title, but if you go to properties, you can scroll down and see the job title, which is right here. So that's great. However, we want to know how to search specifically for that job title. And just like we saw over there, except we don't have three dots to click on. It's here is very apparent. This is why I kind of prefer to use Microsoft Entra. <laughs> I almost said Microsoft Azure AD, Microsoft Entra Admin Center instead of the front end. And you can select add filter. You can search for different types of filters. So if you can think of something that you can search for, you can certainly type in to find it quicker or you can go through all the options for the filters within here which is what I'm going to do and select job title starts with I'm going to leave it at starts with type in manager apply and here it is here's Sally Mo pulled up by using a job title filter right so let's look at the reason why Microsoft Azure AD was changed to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. So there is a an article that was posted on Microsoft.com a few days ago, actually, on the 927th. So seven days ago while I'm recording this video. New name for Azure Active Directory. And it says here to communicate the multi-cloud, multi-platform functionality of the products, alleviate confusion with Windows Server. Active Directory and Unify Microsoft Entra Product Family. The new name for Azure Active Directory is Microsoft Entra ID, which by the way, it doesn't say Microsoft Entra ID. If I go back to it, it just says Microsoft Entra Admin Center. So they are, they're still kind of messing up. It's not a big deal in my opinion, but they're still messing up the naming scheme here. At least this article is saying Microsoft Entra ID, but it obviously doesn't say that over there. I can see where they are. You know what I think happened? They just sat down and people kept saying, well, 
people are constantly confused about what's the difference between Active Directory and Azure Active Directory. So and that's how they sound like in my mind. They're surfers for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> the, anyway, I get this question quite often on my videos. Just throughout the years, people would ask, what is the difference between Azure AD and just traditional actor directory? And the reason for the name change is because of the confusion here. So Azure actor directory, what used to be known as Azure actor directory is cloud-based directory that controls all of the aspects in regards to Office 365, Microsoft 365, and all the products that are cloud-based that Microsoft provides. So everything that you can access through office.com. So this is all cloud-based. Obviously, regular actor directory, which is a domain-based, which is, you can say, local for that company that has domain installed or that is controlling their computers within a domain for them specifically, that is what that controls. It controls all of the users and all the computers for that domain specifically. It's not cloud-based, as simple as that. And this is why they changed the name to Microsoft Entra. And they kind of expand a little bit on this article. And just to, I guess, to make sure that people are not concerned if something's going to break. It says here, if you're using Azure AD today or are currently deploying Azure AD in your organizations, you can continue to use the services without interruptions. All existing deployments, configurations, and integrations continue to function as they do today without any action from you, which is great because sometimes if you change just verbatim something, meaning the titles, the names of things or products, it can break things down the line. However, this is sort of like metadata, if you will, meaning this is just the data that doesn't really affect the functionality of the product. It's all just like a title. So let's say you create a website and you put down on the front page the name of your website. If you change that at any time, it's not going to affect how your website functions, right? It's just going to change the way it looks. And that's what changed the name and some icons changed. That's all that really happens. And it says here, you can continue to use familiar Azure AD capabilities that you can access through Azure portal, right? So online, Microsoft 365 Admin Center and the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. All features and capabilities are still available in the products, licensing terms, everything else is the same, basically. And it says here, to make the transition seamless, all existing URLs, APIs, PowerShell, uh, and etc. The change, service plan displays name will change on October 1st, which I suppose it's today. Microsoft Entra ID free, Microsoft. Anyways, they get into the details of other their products that they use, this and that, and gives you a little here graph of if you want to look at this. You know, anyways, I don't want to bore you too much of this, but that's the gist of it and here are some icon changes it says this is what used to look like azure ad product icons i forget which one is which but now this is the new icon for microsoft entra uh, id product icon let me go back to our main thing and see it says now identity let's look at this icon here for that and well here it is you can download the microsoft entra icon. i you know whatever i don't care it's just semantics, it's meta, but I am glad that they are changing the name so there's no longer a confusion and now people can know that these are separate products. Active Directory, traditional Active Directory and Azure Active, what, what used to be known as Azure Active Directory, now known as Microsoft Entro are different and separate. I hope you like this video. Please let me know in the comments you know, do the usual thing. If you watch my video, just say hello, hi, or present. I really appreciate that. Let me know that you are interested in this type of content. I will have a new help desk video coming out fairly soon. I think within a week, if not, maybe within two weeks, but I will try to make it so that I have that video ready next week. So either Saturday or Sunday next week. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day. And again, Thank you all who subscribed and helped me get to 100,000 subscribers. 
I really appreciate that. Take care. Bye-bye.